Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 111. What I have here is kind of a, a dashboard that you might be able to create with sparklines. I've kind of thrown some things together. There's a Microsoft blog that kind of gave some ideas to start this, and I've adapted it for healthcare and done a couple other tricks to it. What I want to do today is just kind of walk through what it is, and then we'll spend another uh, video or two walking through how on earth I built the thing. What I have is I have lab collections by diagnosis code, head, eyes, shoulders, ears, knees, mouth, whatever. And what I have is I have a cell here that shows that the collections go from 2005 to 2010, and that they've gone up and down and up and down. And then I, I'm also showing profits by diagnosis code. So I lost money in 2005 and have made money since, but my revenues are down. That's what this little arrow shows me from 2009 to 2010. And each of these charts looks at a different, you know, head, shoulders, knees, and eyes, ears, and mouth. And we'll come back. We're going to build toes and eyes, ears, mouth, we'll build nose down here in future videos and show you how to build them. But what I wanted to show you is you can use a bunch of things kind of combined. This is just plain old text that I um, formatted small and kind of centered, So and then formatted this, moved this to the right, this to the left, so it kind of shows you a date range over my chart. Um, then I, this is just text too, so I can see the profits in here. And this is linked to... Uh, this spark line is linked to one set of data for the profits. This spark line here is linked to a second set of data. That's linked to revenues. And then this is an old conditional formatting trick. All I have is an icon only showing here. And I'll, I'll walk through that again when we get to that piece of the puzzle when we build these down at the bottom. But that's how a dashboard might look with spark lines. The other clever thing that I wanted to walk you through today was what I've done is I built a dashboard. And now what, you do, what I can do is if I click here, see the the highlight is showing me where my data is stored. And if I move away, now you lose it. But what you can do is you can put a hyperlink there and click. And now I'm to head. And I've got a, a chart here that's showing 2005, 6, and 7. I've got actual numbers. I've got blown up detail if that's what we want to see. And I put head and shoulders and e eyes, ears. The whole thing is on my data tab. But what you can do is you can say, all right, take me to shoulders or build a hyperlink on ears. And it takes me over to ears. And we can scroll that over a little bit more so you can see it. But by putting those pieces together with two spark lines, conditional formatting, a hyperlink, a little bit of text tricks, now I've got something that might work for me as a dashboard. And if you want more information, we've got hyperlinks to go even further. I want to just kind of give you the overview of what's available in this video. And then stay tuned next time. We'll, we'll start to create these other, what is it, toes and nose. We'll create those two diagnosis codes and create this kind of dashboard for them. Starting next time. Thanks for watching.